Inherding is basically, um, in practice, is just uh, management intensive grazing on the grounds. We're using people on horseback to very precisely move the cattle in a proactive way across the landscape. So it's very simple. So like on a typical day, we'll get up around 6 a.m., cook breakfast, make cowboy coffee over the little cook stove in a cook shack. Uh, we have little small lightweight tents that our crew sleeps in. Our cattle are staked out in a hot wire paddock right next to us for safety from wolves. And right around 8.30 to 9 o'clock, we'll let them all out and we'll herd them across the landscape and exactly where we want them to go for that day. We'll choose the day before where they're going to go the following day and choose where their meal is going to come from on the wild grasses that cover that 70 square miles. And it includes taking up water and a lot of times the water is very controlled. We will put in temporary pipelines out of springs and creeks that allow cattle to drink out of a tank that we put up there, a stock tank that's portable, that doesn't impact in any way the ecological value of those wet areas, those riparian areas and that fish habitat. And we do this every day over the course of the grazing season. And that's exciting. It's exciting to see change, huge change in just the five years that we've been doing it. A huge change in, in critical habitat for other animals like fish, amphibians, uh, beavers, uh, aspen, and also a huge change in the health and wellness of our animals. So the grass up on that wild range landscape is unique. It's definitely unique in the grass-fed world. I've spoken to many grass-fed producers all over the world. Because in that country up there, Carol happens to be a PhD plant ecologist, so she knows her plants. Um, she says there's 2,500 plants up there. It's just a beautiful, extremely diverse landscape. Of those 2,000 some plants, our animals graze about 550. The nutrient density of those grasses is unparalleled from anybody in the world. And that's exciting to me because when they eat those kind of things, and then we eat the beef bait they produce, it's a beautiful advantage for our health and our well-being as well. Our steaks taste better. Our steaks are more tender than they've ever been before. But with flavor comes health. When you have diverse flavors and the nuance of very specific plant flavors that get imbibed in the meat you eat at your table, you're also experiencing wellness because there's great satisfaction at eating a beautiful steak, a beautiful ribeye that has that wild mountain flavor to it. And the wild mountain flavor comes from that incredible plant diversity that's out there.